Hi everyone. Today I can make a pahokti. Um, I don't know how to call in English the the Thai rice, but it's for Khmer. This is for Cambodian food, that traditional Cambodian Cambodian food. That uh, the ingredient I have like. Uh, um lamb leaf and uh, lemon grass and garlic grass turmeric and uh, garlic and uh, salad and um uh, lamb leaf I slice small like this to uh, put on the top after that that like a dressing that uh that the optional if you don't like that you don't have to and um, for the baby uh, this is a baby a can that I uh, fry it and frozen one because where I that uh, where I live they don't have it so at this one I bought from uh, California for a long time I I uh, fry it and put in the frozen then a little bit of tamarind, rye tamarind, fish sauce, sugar, and uh, chicken flavor, and uh, coconut meal. And for the for the ingredient for the groom that I already planted, make it all together right here. And also I have uh, chili paste that I. Uh, the dry chili paste I stuck in the hot water and then I plan it I plan it and uh, I use this jar for the put it and then I put in a frozen and then I uh, add it with cream like uh, two tablespoons and for the meat I have uh, about six ounce of the fish fillet and about uh, almost half pound of uh, ground pork. This uh, that uh, many uh, that uh, some people don't put the uh, like a fish like this. They put the dry fish, but that they choy. They like to put the fish. I mean the fresh fish like this fillet or the fish, but all kind of fish. Uh, ground pork that is up to you that your choice but for me I like to add uh, fresh like this I don't like dry fish in Cambodian most of people they they cook with the fresh meat like this not the dry fish but it's uh, many people they cook different way but this is my way and then that's all the ingredients. I'm ready to cook now. Now I need a like six tablespoons. And I'm gonna add like uh, three, three,
two tablespoons, three tablespoons of salt, and one and a half tablespoon of sugar, and chicken flavor, one teaspoon. And uh, about uh, almost a tablespoon of uh, rice tamarind. It's not for sour, just for the make the taste dry, not too clear. Now I like to add some more coconut. And a little bit of uh, water because I don't want to use uh, much more than this for coconut. But uh, it's your choice if you want uh, more coconut better uh, for you. Not too salty, not too sweet, just dry. Now we're ready to serve. Okay, now we're ready to uh, serve. Serve with jasmine rice, and this is the lamb leaf that I saw it early. I put on the top like that, but it's your, your toe, you don't like it, you don't have to. And uh, for for me, I don't eat the hot. Usually, the hot tea they cook the hot. But for me, I don't eat it. I just add the fish sauce. That tastes good enough to me. But it's your, your choice. You want to put the hot, put the hot. Now, uh, that's it for the hot tea, traditional food. So with jasmine rice. And I have the vegetable for dipping. I have cucumber, green bean cabbage and uh, round eggplant and this one I don't know how to call it in English but the eggplant too. So at, uh, I hope you like the video and thank you for watching. Bye bye.